All right, so in another video, I was talking about having problems with the cards in the uh, RA card and the GoPro. There are two card manufacturers that uh, GoPro likes. The rest of them, they don't really like it much. But I found out that if you uh, stick with the SanDisk cards, they're pretty much the best. But what it did was is when I got my uh, my first DJI, I got it from Atlanta Hobby, and they sold cards too. So they also DJ, uh, Atlanta Hobby also sells GoPros. So I bought a card from them for uh, for my GoPro. Well, it'll record on the card, but it'll throw up an error every now and then, and that was really pissing me off when it was doing that. Because sometimes, I mean, I would be in the middle of something really good, and it would it would throw up an error and if it does that you ain't recording nothing so anyhow uh throw the sand this card in there and that's what she likes and i can tell she likes it too so that's what i'm doing but so if you get a um, gopro just go ahead and get a sand this card and throw the 64 in there and be done with it and all that but just loading along loading a few trucks this morning getting them done here i got uh this one and then there's uh there's two more you can see i got some trees laying on some kind of put wood tops right there they got us cut off today at the columbus paper mill so I'm just gonna stack them over out of the way i'm gonna roll that pile on back some more here in a minute stack them out of the way and then I'll start loading. I may load them as some of them this afternoon to go out there for in the morning. You can see it doesn't matter to me which side I load on. I load boom side, cab side, it doesn't matter. I don't care. Uh, I know there are some guys out there who always want to load on the cab side because the boom giving you the blind spot and everything and will go out of their way pushing loading decks to make sure that they load on the cab side. I don't care, it does not bother me which side. I mean, one set I may be on the boom side, one set I may be on the cab side, I don't care. But the cool thing is, compared to this, this machine compared to the, uh, to the 437D, it's not near as much of a blind spot over here on on the boom side is it is on the boom side of the 437 so that's that's a lot better uh you know but uh so i like that and then the new machines that are going to be coming out the new series of swing machines are going to be even better than this one as far as the blind spots go and I'm going back up there the last week of August to uh, flying into Vancouver and uh, going to Langley. Langley, British Columbia is where the Deer Hitachi Swing Machine Factory is. And uh, I'm going up there to do some more work for Deer in Hitachi that last week of this month. So I'll remind y'all again as the time gets nearer to that point um, going up there so nobody tries to call me or contact me while I'm up there and everything so uh, bye, bye. but uh so I, I don't like going out of the country that sucks I, I don't like it I don't like how to deal with the phone stuff just the uh, crossing the borders. Of course, this time I'll be crossing the border in an airplane. I do not like crossing in a vehicle because it's such a runaround. When I go up there and the border patrol comes out and they ask me for my passport and I open my mouth, they obviously they know as soon as, soon as I open. Be good up there, Tim. Load it, load it. They know as soon as I open my redneck mouth that I am not from those parts. And then of course, as soon as I do that, I get to go inside and I get checked out in the computer and all that stuff to make sure I'm no freaking terrorist. Uh, so my time in Canada, I do not like. It is a different freaking world up there, man. 
Uh, those engineers up there, I deal with uh, French and Japanese engineers. They can't understand me. All right, right there. And I dang freaking sure can't understand them. So we have issues, communication issues. And that's always fun to deal with. If everybody just spoke redneck, it'd be a lot better place, man. But anyhow, so I'll be doing that in last week. So go up there. At least it's not in the wintertime. I've been up there during the wintertime. Dude, that's no fun either. And I've got a video on my YouTube channel there of Canada in the winter up there. It's crazy, man. Crazy, especially if you got to go up in the mountains anywhere. It is ridiculous. Ridiculous the amount of snow that's up there. But, uh, so I'll be, I'm going to film some. Not sure how much I'm going to be able to get away with filming. I'm hoping, I'm, I'm going to ask them and see if they'll let me walk the line on the machines that they're assembling right now and film that. And so y'all can kind of get so I kind of walk and explain stuff, what's going on and all that. I've been down the line a bunch of times uh, in several different factories with deer. And you know, that's something that most people don't really get to see. And, and then put and then put my, my spin on things of what's going on. You know, so I, I'm gonna talk to, I'm gonna talk to them up there and see if they'll allow me to do that. And if they do, That'll make a really, really nice video. And uh, but the thing about the swing machine factory, it's, it's not that large of a factory. It's not nowhere near like Dubuque or Moline. Uh, you know, uh, Dubuque up there, where they got the simulators and all that stuff, and they built lots of different machines up there. You know, that, that factory up there is like a mile and an eighth long from one end of it to the other. I mean, it's just it's monstrous. And this factory up there is nowhere to do like that. It's a small, it's a small factory, but they can spit out some machines though. There's not a lot of people that work up there like compared to Dubuque or Moline or any of the other factories that they got, but uh, they can spit them out and they do a good job up there. Their quality control is just crazy how good it is up there. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop this video. It's a little over seven minutes now and I uh, may film some more here in a little bit. So. We'll catch y'all later on on the next video. Um, come on now, got to have you. Let's get some comments and rating and subscribe. And I do read every comment. Uh, there's one comment, there's one commenter that keeps commenting. I can't remember his name, it's Pizza something. But I can't comment back on his. When I try to hit, click on it to reply back, it won't let me. So dude, I know you're from another country and I do appreciate your comments and I read all of your comments and I like them. I sent you a message through YouTube the other night. I don't know if you got it or not, but, but I do read all the comments. I don't necessarily comment. I try to comment back to all of them, but some of them I miss, but I do read them all. So y'all comment, rate, subscribe. You know, when I say rate, that means thumbs up, like them. But uh, we'll catch y'all later. See y'all.